Hello guys, in this video we will see how to use the ethers library with Polygon. The complete smart book about this tutorial can also be found on dapworld.com. The link is given in the description below. Ethers is just like Web3 which enables the applications to connect with the blockchain and interact with the smart contracts also. You can head over to the ethers documentation for getting started. They have given the installation step for both the backend and web browser. As you can see the common terminologies are provider, signer and contract. For the front end, provider and signer will be the metamask wallet. But for the backend, we will need to define it manually with the help of RPC providers and private keys. So here are some API examples which are provided by ethers. Now Polygon is the EVM compatible blockchain, particularly to say the Polygon POS blockchain. We will see how to use Ether.js with Polygon POS. POS stands for Proof of Stake. So here they have given the methods to deploy the smart contract. We can deploy the smart contract with Remix, Truffle and Hardhat. The easiest method is using Remix. For the other two methods, you can get the link of smart books in the description below. So let's head over to the Remix ID and select the example smart contract storage which is already provided by the Remix. As you can see in this contract there are two functions just to store the value and retrieve it. So let's compile this smart contract, copy the ABI and paste it somewhere so that we can use it when we need it to. Before deploying this smart contract we should configure the Polygon network in our metamask. All the configuration details are provided on Matix documentation. The link is also given in the description below. Just copy paste the network ID, RPC URL, chain ID etc details and the network is added to the metamask. Now back to the remix ID, in the deploy and run transaction section, select the injected web3 so that the remix will be now connecting with the metamask which is already configured with the polygon network. Now select the contract which is to be deployed and hit to the deploy button. Confirm the metamask transaction and wait for the transaction to complete. Copy the contract address and paste it somewhere. Now open your favorite code editor and also open the directory in the terminal where you want to create the project. Let's initialize Node.js project with npm in it. This will create a package.json file. When this is done, install ether.js. This is needed because we are using Ether.js in server side, that is Node.js. In the index.js file, import the ethers library which we have installed. Now for the backend, we will need the RPC provider. So here are some RPC providers you can get for the Polygon. You can get a public free RPC provider which is given on Polygon's documentation. But as it is free and public, it may have to face a lot of load. That's why it is advisable to use third party RPC providers. You can choose any one of this, create the project and get the RPC URL. For the testnet, you can get free token on Matic faucet. Just select the token and network, put your account's public key address and hit on submit and confirm. You will be funded with some test Matic token in Metamask, which is then can be used as a gas fee while interacting with smart contract. Now again in our code, let's set the provider and initialize the private key. Also the signer and the contract address and ABI that we have copied from the remix. Let's initialize two instances for the smart contract. One for reading the data and one to write the data. Yeah, this is how the ethers.js works. For web3, only one contract in instance is enough. First, let's write the data with the store function which is already defined in our smart contract. We can run the file with node index.js. If you still have the deployed contract, as it is on Remix, you can check there also with the help of retrieve if the value is stored correctly or not. Now let's comment the store function and comment out the read function. Let's again run the file with node index.js. Now the value obtained in the result is in the hexadecimal form. You can convert it to the decimal with the help of ethers APIs. So this is how we can use ethers to interact with the polygon network from server side. 